City of Los Angeles dealing with a legal setback over the LAPD's accidental release of data and photos of its officers. All of those photos given to a local journalist and was later posted online. Eric Spillman live in downtown LA with the latest details. Eric, good morning. Morning, Chris. Morning, Megan. It's like that old saying about how difficult it is to put the toothpaste back into the tube. The city of L.A. released the names and photos of the entire police force to a reporter. Now it says that was a mistake and the city wants to prevent those photos from being shared online. So the city went to court, but a judge basically said it's too late. Let me give you a little bit of background on this. It was back in September of last year that a journalist named Ben Camacho, who works for a site called Knock LA, made a Public Records Act request of the LAPD. He asked for and received the names, photos, badge numbers, and salaries of 9,000 LAPD officers, including cops who work undercover assignments. Camacho gave the data to a watchdog group called the Stop LAPD Spying Coalition, which published the information on a website called watchthewatchers.net. Now you can go on that site, enter the name of an LAPD officer, and it'll show you their photo, badge number, and other data. Attorneys for the city went to court yesterday to argue that the site endangers the safety of undercover officers by revealing their identities. They asked for a restraining order to stop or slow the distribution of the photos. They demanded that the files be returned. They said our public servants are under attack. But yesterday, a Superior Court judge rejected that request, saying that the city had failed to address the issue of prior restraint. It's a form of government censorship, and it's not allowed under the First Amendment. The reporter at the center of the controversy spoke out last week. At this point, all I want is the city's case to get dropped. All I want is the, I want the city attorney and or the mayor to acknowledge whether or not they really always wanted to sue a journalist. And if they did, to apologize. Because this isn't right. This battle, though, is far from over. That lawsuit that Camacho just mentioned, it's still going to court. Also, the uh, police union has filed a suit against LAPD Chief Michael Moore. And finally, 300 cops who work in what they call sensitive assignments have also hired a lawyer. Some of those officers saying that the release of the photos endangers their lives. That is the latest from downtown Los Angeles. We'll send it back to you in the studio.